Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is breaking down the Lumetri color panel part 5. All right, as I said in all the previous tutorials for the Lumetri color panel, you're not really, you don't have to work in just one specific area. I just thought it would be easier to talk about them in their own separate uh, tutorial. In this one, we're gonna talk about the vignettes. You can use those with color corrections or not. Sometimes you just wanna throw a vignette on here. This is the easiest way. If you come from the world of Lightroom, if you're used to using those or Camera Raw, guess what? These are the same vignettes, very easy to use and all non-destructive. Let's have a look. So I have a clip selected in my timeline and I am using my Lumetri color panel, which the easiest way is to choose the color workspace at the top. And I'm down here in the vignette section. The first control is the amount, how much of the vignette. And it starts in the middle, meaning it isn't adding anything. And your first thought might be to move this to the right and it is adding an amount of lightness to the vignette. So this is a brighter, whiter vignette. This is the typical darker vignette on the left hand side. All right, then we have a midpoint, roundness, and feather. And the easiest way to demonstrate this, I think, is to turn the feathering right off. And now you get to see where the vignette will be happening. So with the amount, you can see that when I don't have it on, you can't see it when it's cranked in the middle or it gets lighter on the outside of it. It actually looks like it's darker in the middle. It's not, it's whiter on the outside. Let's just leave it dark for now. Let's talk about the roundness. This is uh, the most control you'll have. When you push it all the way to the outside, you'll just get those tiny little rounded corners, almost like an old television. If you move it a little bit further, it now becomes more elliptical. And then when you pass the center point, you'll see that it, it now pops up and gets more circular. So you go from a circle to a rounded rectangle to an ellipse, depending on where you are. Now the midpoint takes that value that you just created and either opens it up or down. So if you liked that rounded rectangle, but you didn't, you thought maybe it's not uh, deeper into the image, well, you can push this all the way down into here. Remember, this makes very little sense unless we have some feathering on here. But th now you see when I'm pushing this midpoint in and out, or I'm pushing the roundness out and up, you can see what it's doing. Why does that have that little jump in there? Well, that's be going, because it's going from an ellipse to more of a circular shape. Now, when I play this, this, this looks good, maybe a little bit less. This looks good, it makes sense. You know, there's before, there's after. That's because it's a locked off camera. If we go over here to this one and we add a vignette to this and we play this, Maybe this is the look you're looking for, but this is more of like the stalker look going on. If the camera is moving and the vignette is stuck to the lens, it's a completely different feel. In the first example, the vignette is not supposed to be seen at all. It's supposed to be just blending in. It's allowing you to focus on one area. Um, but if, if the camera moves at all in this example, instantly the viewer even if they don't know why, what happens is you now know the vignette is part of the view. It's part of what you're looking through, almost like those fake binoculars they would use in, in movies to show someone's looking in binoculars. That's what that's for. And maybe that's the look you're looking for, but be careful if you want this as a stylized effect and the camera moves, you're gonna look like a stalker. All right, well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then there's a link in the description for you to download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.